Okay, so we're done with Maker's N, and now we're gonna go ahead and go to oh, go to Aaron. First, let's do this. Bar. One of these, yeah, Behemoth. Looks so stonky. Okay, so freeze arrows, got it. Freeze stare. You know, it looks like a rhino. I bet it's gonna charge at us as well. Okay. Um, so, first things first, let's make a safe zone with traps. Just in case. There we go. That's a long back. It's chicken wings. Maybe we'll do a smaller trap as well for him. Oh, 
<laughs> now I'm hungry. I don't want chicken. <laughs> Alright, let's aim for the canister. I like you. Okay, I want to uh, I want to override this tall neck first and then we'll go to Aaron. Okay, that's pretty far. Those pillars, they look so pretty. I mean, look at that. Nice. Oh, wait, I want to get these ravagers. override this so that we must don't be have to worry about Okay. Wait, you know what? Let me get my fire. Let me get my fire. My fire arrow.
No, not yet. I I wanna <laughs> I wanna clear out the map first before we do that. Sayang. Bring our little friend with us. those later. Now let's loot first. Let's get on a front back. Eating Jaeger. Okay. I know that's not Fair what that means, but <laughs>
accidentally hit the one I overrided. Oh, this all makes so near. Let's go. Okay, um, let's clear out the area just a bit more before we get on that call neck. Thank you very much. chicken jumping onto the tunnel.
<laughs> I would fall. Landscaping. Look at that. I wonder if the creators. I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's just because ah. you guys did say this place was set in Utah. So I wonder if they went to Utah and changed the landscape to their life. Damn though, everything looks so beautiful. Love it. Is that over here? Okay. Hmm. That could be a ringtone. A tech, a message tone. Message alert. Let's get these 
ravages. Oh wait, no, they're just they're sawtooth. They look like ravages. See, I keep getting sawtooth and ravager mixed up. Breakers. You guys saw that? They were just about to dive, or the, they dove, they dive in the dirt. They dove. Oh my gosh! Is it dove or dived? <laughs> oh, they're like huge naked, mo naked mole rats. Oh, what the heck? It saw me? Okay, guys, so I did a couple of, uh, uh, I did a fight with a couple of rock breakers when I played offline, so I think I'm okay now against them. Let's see, let's see. Let's move our machine out of the way. I don't want to lose my baby.
think the tail hit me there. Okay, it's okay. Don't try this at home. Oh. Oh. Okay, you know what? One day I want to see um, how long it would take to fight a rock breaker with just melees. Like, can you imagine how long that fight would be if I just used my weapon, my melee weapon on him? On it? <laughs> And how much potion I'd use as well. Anyway, let's get these gun calls. Okay, let's loot and then meet up with Eren. Eren, yeah! You smell like... like a baka. Thanks for the help. That was an unnecessary hit, but it's okay. <laughs> My fault. Come on over here and have a word. Okay, let me loot first. Hey, come on, what are you waiting for? Looting. That's what I'm doing. 
Okay, now I'm ready. Hey, seriously, we need to talk. What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Oh. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. <laughs> right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. So I'm so... Well, I'm glad you're thinking straight, at least. Don't get used to it. Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one yeah. knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. And maybe she thought... That, uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some Shadow Karja cowards. It was an ambush. The Shadow Karja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ert. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No, but it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us, and Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. Mm. They've been licking their wounds for two years, but they finally found a way to get back at her. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. I can only imagine what Erin is going through, like... I don't know him that much, but I feel like he probably would have thought as well that he could have been there to defend her if she brought him along. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the trap. Hey, this is it. Where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. Fancy artifact. We need to find the bastards that did this. We'll get it done. These look like drag marks. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Ooh. Are you saying the dead fell here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of I mean, they're kind they of cray cray. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. Safe point. Noise. I get why they want to go. Why fake an ambush? There's more to this. Yeah, the vibe's weird. It's probably like some sort of ritual or something. Like they don't want to. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't want to guess. Ooh. 
cool purple. An ancient vessel. Love it. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people oh usually God. greet each other? Come on, Jess, let's get her! Whoa! In machines. What's Get what? Ready. What's what? Oh, there it is. Saram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. As usual. Please. Why though? Use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. Why though? Why did the Osiram betray us? Potion. Shattered. As he's a potion. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. What are those leather straps? Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. These look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Ursus men didn't fight back. Oh. oh my gosh, she didn't fight back. That makes it so much worse. It means that they trusted so them. So much blood. A lot of people died here. A massacre.
Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. <laughs> there, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch of me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Osaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracks the stone there. I think it paralyzes people mm. instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're mm. only gonna move them and gut them? I was wrong. They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor. Someone around the same size. And mutilated it enough. So it could have been anyone. Even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take what? another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Ooh, that storyline's juicy. If she's still alive, why? No room. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Osaron gets special treatment. And Too late. Passed by some outlander woman. Unacceptable. I've been here for two hours. Oh my god, everyone here is so Ugh. Ignore them. <laughs> was he Nobles trying to get like through the guards? Even though like there was space beside them? Dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable hmm. man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osaron, a warlord named Durval. Impossible. 
Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Asuram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Asuram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally Aww. gifted Mora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. Why? It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asuram mm -hmm. vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. Hashtag he believed that health. blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the sun ring. <gasps> Bruh, so no wonder he's pissed. Why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. The killers who attacked the Nora. I've discovered that they're a faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient weapons. Machines that corrupt and control other machines. They want to use them to strike Meridian. What you're saying echoes reports I've received from Murad. A Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. When will this attack come, do you know? I'm not exactly sure. No. And we will do what we can to prepare. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, Ursa is my highest priority. Please, help me find her. I'd I like wonder if he has a crush on her. And its politics. By all means. Mm. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to mm. unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place Maybe you get here. You well, at least he said next week. Below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem oh. very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asuram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asuram for years. 
Ursa helps keep the peace. Promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? Shadow. What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I need to get going. I know. We're done Well, here. they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. That was him begging already? He was still standing up. <laughs> Kidding. Ooh. I want to go for it again. We are Karja and us to play this time. I'll read this one later. <laughs> It's pretty long. This must be Pitchcliff. Murad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. No sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Any one of us could have died. Just cast about talking to strangers, woman. No. I'm talking to everyone, though. What's your problem? What's your problem? What's your problem? Ooh. Wow, what's that? Okay, now where do we find this guy? I. Wow, this place is beautiful though. Look at that. I'm considering what I'll fashion next. I like the details on the rocks. Very beautiful. I could use my focus to look around. Ah, oh, I should have done that a while back. <laughs> well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. I was going around in circles. <laughs> it didn't occur to me to use my focus. Oh, okay. Just going up here. How could we defend it? <gasps> Has to be Murad's guy. 
Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's pretty near. Got it. We are almost there. Looks like they've been chained up. Are they trying Durval's to hack them? He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right, we've got your back. Okay. This is a fun. This is the fun level. I love it already. That didn't work.
Uh oh, wait, I think I'm stuck. Ah! Wait. I'm stuck! Oh my god. I can't get out! Oh my god. I'm stuck! Oui! Let me out! Oh my god. I'm. I'm just gonna have to restart. I'm just gonna have to restart. <laughs> well, at least now we know.
supposed to kill all of the machines? I feel kind of bad, they're helpless. They'd be the ones to take me down. That's just his recovery time. Okay. Mm, that's the time it takes before he can get up. Okay. This is such a thing. says you gotta eat dirt. to get through. <sighs> they must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Sonic barriers disabled sound. Aaron? 
after Val tried to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> oh my god, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. <laughs> Now listen, Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. <gasps> Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Oh my god. Aaron, I'm... I'm so sorry. You've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll, uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. I What's Durval so... learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? I feel so bad. I freaking paralyze it. What happens when I turn it on? The odd. I think I've got it working. There. Now, say something. Both of you doves. I don't know. What do you want me to say? Whatever you want. I, I just want to hear your voice and keep it for later. I'll sing, Papa. <sighs> la 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 la. <laughs> oh my God. There, a song and a laugh, even better than words. And now I can hear them whenever I want. We're done then? Off to bed with you. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Is she gone? What are we going to do? The raids are getting closer and closer to Main Spring. How much longer can we hide like this? A keepsake from his family. Durval's got nothing left to lose. Just notes about crafting. And a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. Where's my warehouse? If we find it, I'll bet we find Durval too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. Okay, um, we'll stop right here for now. 
I feel so bad. <laughs> anyway, next episode we'll continue um, the other main quest and unravel more clues as to what happened to the world and who Aloy is. What is Project Zero Dawn? That's the biggest question right now that I still... What could be worse than giant robots malfunctioning? Hmm. I honestly can't think of one. I can't think of anything. But yeah, I can't wait to play or keep playing Horizon Zero Dawn. For now, as always, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. And to follow me on my social media sites at carlos.sara. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.